Hello everyone, what's up? It's me Maria and thank you so much for clicking on another Blendzilla video. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you are here. And today we'll be having a new video which is about Philodendron Silver Sword. <laughs> Since we will be repotting a vining philodendron, we requested for a pot that has a huge hole in the middle. This is where we will insert the cocoa pole that we made so that may pagkakapitan ng ating silver sword as it grows. He's trying to slim the bottom part of the pole para magkasya din sa butas which is intended for it. Since we are trying to put it in the center of the pot, dapat hindi siya move as soon as we will be adding the soil. And as I have showed earlier, lima po talaga yung butas ng pot na yan. Kasi we wanna make sure na kahit may insert kami na pole in the middle, while well draining pa rin siya. Guys, this is the potting mix that we will be using. Meron po siyang cow manure, rice hulls, garden soil, and cocoa peat. I will never get tired of renaming them all just for those who are new and who would like to know what is our potting mix. So now he's preparing what should be put at the bottom of the pot to let the water drain easily. Kaya po naglalagay kami ng coconut fiber. Okay guys, let's take a closer look at our DIY cocoa pole. On other countries, I have read that they are using moss pole for their vining plants. I'm just not sure if that's easy to make. However, since nasa Pilipinas tayo, let's just utilize what's easier for us. This is serving the same purpose for other vining plants and that is having something to hold on to. And finally, we have here our Philodendron Hastatum, which is also called Philodendron Silver Sword. Dahil um, almost silver na yung kulay ng dahon niya and mirror-like yung mga foliage niya. So, tingnan niyo naman. Take a closer look. The one that I have showed to you earlier in this video is actually the Baby Silver Sword. So, you already have the idea na magkaiba talaga yung itsura ng Baby Silver Sword at ng matured na. So guys, as you can see, the potting mix is already added in the pot. He's adding up until the middle before he starts repotting the plant. Upon observation, hindi talaga nagfo-focus yung paggrow ng root niya sa ilalim ng pot since this is a vining plant. The stem will eventually have its own roots that will hold onto the pole as it grows. This one is easy to grow and its glossy leaves will usually tolerate lower light conditions, though it is not ideal. And since this is a vining plant, it's best to provide a cocoa pole or a moss pole where it can climb. He's trying to take it out from the pot. Actually, kakabili lang po namin ito. So, ayan, buhay na buhay siya. And hindi naman lugi yung pagkabili namin. Malaki na siya. For those who prefer to buy plants, make sure na meron na siyang leaf bud na papalabas to ensure na buhay na siya. Kasi natry ko nang makabili ng wala pang ugat or newly cut. Lugi ka dun. Okay, so nakita nyo, malaki na talaga siya, maraming marami na siyang ugat. And when we bought this one, meron na talaga siyang new leaf na papa-open. So, ayan. Tingnan nyo, okay? This one's really a good deal. Actually, kumakapit pa yung roots niya dun sa mga tiny slices ng coconut husks na nakalagay dun sa ilalim ng pot. So, i-remove lang niya yan bago niya itanim. Philodendron Silver Sword enjoys well-draining soil. It likes to be moist but not too wet because it will really lead to root rotting. So now he's trying to position the plant in a way where it can easily climb in a pole. Because the position of the leaves as it grows will depend on how you planted it and how you trained it while growing up. If you wish your plant to go upright then put a tiny twig to brace it while it grows. And he's as well arranging the roots to make sure na hindi sila magkabuhol-buhol bago sila tabunan ng additional potting mix. The look and growth of your plants will mirror your love and care towards them. If your plant is looking at its best, then you have probably given your 100%. And if not, then keep up. And since na-arrange na niya yung roots, maglalagay na tayo ng coconut fiber on top of it. Nega add siya ng maraming coconut fiber sa stem to trigger the roots to pop out. Because as soon as the plant will feel that he is somewhere near any soil or somewhere where he can grow, it will feel at ease and roots will start to come out. So, as soon as possible, it will start climbing. 
So this is the closer look on how it looks like right now. Okay, so right after that, we will be adding the vermicast. And since medyo pricey to dito, mahal so konti lang yung binili namin. So we will be adding the potting mix that we had earlier. So ayan, imimix lang sila thoroughly. And then once it's ready, we can add it on top of the shredded coconut fiber that we had. Just before he finished putting the potting mix inside the pot, he's mixing a bottle cap of molasses into a bottle spray of water. He will be spraying it in the soil near the roots in particular before finishing the entire repotting process. Marami pong vitamins ang molasses when it comes to your plants. Using it as a fertilizer provides your plants with a quick source of energy and encourages the growth of beneficial microorganisms. This will also serve as your root booster especially for your newly propagated plants. Anyway guys, for those who are asking if they have to mist their plants regularly, I like to tell you that philodendrons needs to be watered regularly. But regular doesn't mean every day. The key to watering your plants is not how often you water it, but the soil where you planted it. You don't really have to mist it, but it is something that will help them. Just remember to let the top layer of the soil dry between watering. And like most philodendrons, position them in bright but indirect sunlight. But if you wish to put it indoors, you can mist it regularly, but then wipe the leaves with damp cloth to keep the leaves look shiny. Okay, so malang malapit na tayong matapos. nag add na siya ng additional na potting mix. Nilalagyan na niya para mapuno na tong pot. Hindi naman mapuno na parang malulunod na siya. And for those who are interested to know kung magkano yung bilik ko sa kanya, nabili ko siya ng 700. And if you wish to have something like this, you can keep on scrolling online. Kasi sa online ko lang din siya nakita and medyo para sa akin mura lang siya. Well, in the midst of this plant type na parang lahat ng presyo ng mga halamang naiisip mo, nagtaasa na ng presyo. So, ayan, we're almost done. And o nga pala, when it comes to propagation of this one, I was advised to do the water propagation in which ikakat lang yung plant with a section that includes a node or two and ilalagay lang siya sa water for several weeks allowing the roots to form. Then after that, pwede na siyang i-transfer into a pot with a well-draining potting mix. So definitely, and propagation niya is through stem cuttings. And pruning may be required para hindi scattered yung pagtubo ng leaves niya or parang yung ititrim mo yung mga dahon niya para hindi na masyadong dumami tsaka parang magulo na tingnan. Okay, so finally, we're done! Thank you so much for watching and I'm so happy that you made it till the end. This has been Maria, the voice of Planzilla Bohol. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell button beside it so you will get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Bye guys!